Hey, so the English, this is Super Zombie God Barbecue, and today we have had final news about WWE 2K18 DLC. The names of all of the superstars were announced yesterday as a result of a trailer that was released during No Mercy pay-per-view on Sunday, which included Matt and Jeff Hardy. But now we have had final confirmation that WWE 2K18's full downloadable content, the costing, the packs, what else is included in those packs, has been released and we're gonna break this down now but before i start can i ask you all to smash the like button if you like what you see in this video and subscribe to the channel in the background i've actually got the trailer for w2k18 i mentioned earlier on so that's gonna play whilst we have a look at this 2k released information today that is downloadable content will be available not only for PlayStation Network or PS4 and Xbox Live or Xbox, but also for PC and the Nintendo eShop or the Nintendo Switch. So all of the DLC that's available on the Xbox PlayStation 4 versions and PC versions will also be available on the Nintendo Switch. So it does seem like it's going to be a very similar experience. Let's break down every single piece of DLC though. And we're going to start off with the Accelerator. Now the Accelerator, if you've played 2k games before you will know what this means a nutshell that allows you to unlock all of the unlockable content at launch apart from the downloadable content which we're going to speak about in a moment you can also change the overall rankings and attribute levels of any of the superstars that are in the game so you can make braun Strowman the monster among men or make brock lesnar as good as james ellsworth even though james ellsworth isn't in the game which i'm very very surprised at. Now moving on to the Enduring Icons pack. This is the first confirmed details of DLC in WWE 2K18. It replaces the Hall of Fame pack from last year. It includes the much awaited debut of the Hardy Boys in WWE 2K18 as well as the WWE Hall of Famers Beth Phoenix and the Rock and Roll Express. Now I personally feel that most people are going to buy this for the Hardy Boys so i'm expecting maybe a couple of additional skins for the hardy boys maybe some old school skins maybe the charismatic enigma as well and the version one version of matt hardy but that will be available as the first part of the dlc where you got playable characters moving on then you got my player kickstart if you've played 2k games before this is very similar to where it was previously you also unlock all the clothing made available at launch so any additional clothing that might come later on might be added which might not be free but everything that's included at launch will provide attribute boosts in my career as well and then we have the new moves pack the new moves pack is something that's happened within the last couple of years but some of the new moves that are included in this i am very excited about let's first of all talk about the tiebreaker which is obviously Ty didn't just finishing maneuver the crash landing which has been made famous by cassius ono who is also in the game the pump handle death valley driver which is from akam who's in nxt as part of the authors of pain and the swinging sleeper slam which is ddp's move also included on this reveal shows a screenshot which shows a glorious ddt now it wouldn't be surprising if the glorious ddt was not included within the game so this may be a hint that it might not be available in the game at launch but there was confirmation in one of the 2k dev videos that it is going to be in the game at some point so whether it's available at launch we have no idea at this time i'd like just anyone who has played 2k18 just to confirm whether the glorious ddt is in there because when i played i only had his original finisher from nxt in there so if you could let me know that would be awesome. And the final piece of DLC is the NXT Generation Pack, which includes WWE and NXT superstars. From WWE is Elias, and then the remainder superstars are in NXT, including Drew McIntyre, who is the NXT Champion, Lars Sullivan, Ruby Riot, and the finally, the much anticipated, Alistair Black. And that concludes everything. Now, I personally think that there should be more DLC for the money you are paying for this kind of content or at least we should have details of any new arenas, new clothing that would come along with this. I, I, me personally, I, I like that they are announcing this up front but 
Compared to last year where you had some of the Hall of Famers there, I feel that another pack was needed, especially the 205 Live guys. And I have to question, where the hell is James Ellsworth? Really? Come on. You know, he's like a big part of WWE now. He might have been a jobber. The guy beat AJ Styles three times and he doesn't even get a place in WWE 2K18. The only thing that's not been confirmed at this time is how you will gain access to the seen enough John Cena's and the Kurt Angle, Batista and Rob Van Dam from pre-order or special editions. Which have not been confirmed as to when you'll be able to obtain those. But if we're going by last year, I would imagine you'd expect to see Kurt Angle within four to eight weeks of release. And I would imagine that the, the Seen Enough and the Deluxe Edition content will probably be available by the beginning of 2018. Maybe they've got a couple of surprises for us, but that'll be it for now. If you like what you see in this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more WWE 2K18. Stay tuned for big news coming very soon regarding 2K18, and I will see y'all soon. One last thing, and that is two. Zombie be like no one. Get the deluxe edition and play four days early. Rated T for team.